to be shared when you agree your customer if you've got an experience of your customers they need to be shared so that if there's any best practice if there's any best practice then you can develop on that best practice All right. there's a guy by the name of um, Richard Bandler and he looked at some of the uh, the best communicators in the world therapists and people that dealt who knew how to create change within people and they watched tapes and tapes and tapes of this guy his name was Milton Erickson there and he was a hypnotist they watched loads of tapes of him and they modeled on success so you know when you said John John yeah you know at the beginning John tell me which of these courses appeal to you that could benefit your organization when you attach a couple of words on top of when, you, when you're communicating, it confuses the person. Because as soon as you say John, as soon as you say Vipin again, yeah? I've mentioned your name a few times now. And I bet you feel like you know me, yeah? It's because I've developed an unconscious familiarity with yourselves and with your girl pal as well. But you've on the second day you've met me, yeah? So John, yeah? So you say John, yeah, or Dave, or whoever you're communicating with John, tell me which of these courses do you believe that could? Most people forget the fundamental factor of conversation and uh, how to establish a, uh, uh, an excellent rapport with people by using your personal name and also by uh, uh, getting their name. Uh, it allows you to uh, not only get rapport but unconscious rapport. It allows your conversational qualities to flow. If you watch most professionals, you will see how they do this because what they do is they use personal names all the time. Could see how we're tweaking this now a bit more, yeah? So you could use that if you wanted to by using personal names. Uh, if it's face to face, we're going to go for a handshake. Good evening, sir. My name is Bum. This is also going to help you find a job role. Good evening, sir. My name is, yeah? I like the way you knock at the door when you come in. Fantastic, yeah? You're going to do that on the interview, but don't do it so timidly. Give it a good knock, yeah? So when you're walking in, it's the impression you want to give. Once people think you're a walk over, they'll walk right over here, and I've experienced this in life. I've experienced this when I did my factory work back in the day. Yeah, you've experienced it when you've been out in the factory as well. Yeah, mm -hmm. once I know you are a little timid, yeah, so you have to tough up infectious, yeah, and even when you're on the phone and you're having a conversation with someone, and you go, Yeah, all right, terrific day. Yeah. People know you're smiling, people know when you're scared. I always say this your communication cannot not have an impact on anybody else. I'll say that again. Your communication cannot not have an impact on anybody else. So whatever you're communicating, whether positive or whether negative, it cannot not have an impact. Your smiles are utterly infectious. When communicating with other people, having a conversation, whether it's a business conversation, whether it's a conversation at home, it doesn't really matter. When you smile with the person, you have the ability to penetrate their physiology and make them feel happy uh, and change their mood. So why not 